What's up, guys? Welcome to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Courtney Revolution. Courtney, mm. it's Friday. Jordan commented on her friendship with Kylie. Of course. It's big. And Ariana Grande is living in hell, apparently. But before we get into all of that, <laughs> let's discuss Courtney celebrating the fact that she is over the hill. Come on, birthday. Is 40 over the hill or 50? I thought it was 50. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot, excuse me. She's well, over the hill, you know Jack what? and Jill. We're gonna go with 40 today. <laughs> it's Friday, we're going with 40. And Courtney celebrated the big 4-0 last night. She had custom tequila bottles, napkins with great quotes on them. Cute. The cake was poosh -themed. Absolutely not. I know. No. It was the naked bathtub situation no. with the tush. Push, poosh. See, can't even, <laughs> you can't even get it off. It don't even roll off the tongue, it Courtney. Like, that should say enough. Uh -uh. It, was, it, was a, it was a bit much, <laughs> but it was also filled with a bunch of exes. So Scott Disick was there. Okay. And surprisingly, Sophia Ritchie also came along. That's cute and mature. This is the first big car dinner party that mm. Sophia has been in included. Love it. Because remember Kylie, when she turned 21, Sophia was not on the guest list. Nope. Scott was on the guest list, Sophia was not. But I feel like they're kind of all three in this place. Mm -hmm. They go on trips together, a vacation they do moment. dinner, and so they were all there together, which I thought was very mature. They've got it together. They've got it together. Or so it seems for right now, the, and I'm okay with yeah, that. Yeah, the modern family, it's it's a modern family for sure. It's a it's modern weird, family. But we're, we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> and then Courtney's ex, Eunice Benjamin. Benjamin was also there. He just posted a little thing on his Instagram story. They didn't post anything together. Mm. But what's interesting is Courtney apparently wants him back. A source told Radar Online that they're talking again thanks to this little Instagram flirting. And because you love Disney, you're gonna appreciate this though. So Courtney posted this photo. She's like in this red outfit. Mm -hmm. And he's like, okay, Minnie. And she's like, oh. merci, Mickey. I said, if you're calling each other Minnie and Mickey, <laughs> that kind of is- Y'all over here trying to be husband and wife Thank on you. the lowest of keys. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. We're seeing right through that little Instagram flirting, okay? We are very well versed in Disney. We know that okay. that is something. Um, but Courtney has now told her sisters, apparently after that, mm -hmm. they started kind of talking again, and now she needs to get him back. What do you think? I like them together, but I don't know if, the, if this is the right time. Yeah. My thing is this, whenever Courtney doesn't have a man, she mm -hmm. always seems to be in like a mood. Yeah. A Squidward mood. Well, and it's weird too, because that Lucas Sabat guy was also there, who was the really younger guy that she was huh. with, who was friends with Kendall. So he was also there, and then Eunice was there, but she really wants to be back with Eunice. I don't know. I just Do she like know what she wants? If I'm 40 and having that much man drama, I am gonna be really sad. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> at some point, Courtney, you might just need to just join Match.com and call it a day, find exactly. somebody your age. Find someone that's just off the celeb path. Okay. Um, but French Montana was also there, and mm. we know him and Chloe have kind of been having They're this like supportive relationship. Mm. So I don't know, is the fact that he's there already at a family gathering, he was having so much fun, he was in all the Instagram stories. He was dancing with the sisters. We know that he's been supportive. We know he's been her shoulder to cry on. What does this mean? I don't know at this particular point if I want French Montana and Chloe in that together. Mess? No, I don't want him in that mess. I need I him to keep making hits and giving us good guest features. <laughs> I think Chloe needs to be alone right now. But I do feel like they have so much potential. Mm -hmm. But I, they broke up the first time around because yeah. Chloe had just gotten out of her marriage with Lamar Odom. And I feel like now he's kind of falling into that same pattern. Like she just got out of a very serious relationship yes. with a man she has a child with. So I think they're kind of trying to keep it like, we're just friends. They need to keep it very lighthearted. But on Instagram, everyone was like, Chloe, French. Uh, like they were trying to make it happen. I don't know, Madison. I kind of want it to happen, but I agree with a little bit of time. Oh, French is the only guy who never cheated on Chloe. That's a big, big title. Let me tell you, I've, it's I've a gone- It's a shame that Chloe has had so many men that have cheated on I've her. I've gone that through her is, relationship history before, and I know. Ugh. French Montana is one of the real ones. Oh so Lord. I'm kind of here for it. Well, let's talk about these two ladies. Uh -huh. We talk no. about them a lot. I know we do. I know. I think I, I smell, smell another reconciliation yep. when it comes to Jordan Woods and Miss Kylie It's Jordan. not the flowers. It's, it's not the flowers. It's reconciliation. It's that, just walking in. It's that in. pungent, mm -hmm. that aroma. Mm -hmm. Yep, I got it, I got it. <laughs> now, yesterday a source told Us Magazine that the two ex-besties were likely to make up it was just going to take some time to heal. Remember, but we didn't believe it. No. We were like, it's mm. not gonna happen. Jordan's living her best, lash life. She's a new it girl. Kylie is being a mom, she has Travis. But now there's even more evidence, and I'm confused. 
Well, TMZ caught Jordan at LAX and mm -hmm. they asked her if she still had love for Kylie. And she said she had love for everyone, which was kind of like a okay. roundabout mm -hmm. answer. Like, girl, mm -hmm. either you have love for her or you don't have love for right, her. Right, exactly. Thankfully, Mama Woods, the mama judge, jumped in and she said, <laughs> we love Kylie. She's literally so awkwardly, like in the back of the video, like, we love Kylie, uh -uh. like fangirl. A mess. But then Jordan kind of followed it up, though. She says, always. Okay, girl. So what? Do you think that they're gonna make up? Officially, do you I don't think know. we're gonna get back to that place? Yesterday, when we just were talking about, I don't know, kind of on the superficial level, like they need mm. time, they need time to heal, I was like, there's no way. But now, how her mom reacted and how she reacted when they were blatantly asked about it, I kind of feel like she does, on a level, yeah. want to make up with Kylie. I don't want them to make up. I know you don't want them don't to, want but them I to think it's gonna happen, which. I don't know. I feel like Jordan has so many people on her team right now. Yeah. And if she makes up with Kylie, I feel like people are going to think poorly of her. I agree. And I'll say this. I don't know. When the whole Jordan Woods, Tristan thing happened, I did not believe that Jordan was strong enough to stand on her right. own. But yes. time has gone by. She's freshened up her hair. Mm -hmm. She's looking healthy, happy, and she's posting cute pics. I think yeah. that she has that it girl potential to just be JW. I mean, J Woods, it's so if you will. crazy how after this whole thing happened, she just has this massive fan base. Like she was yeah. literally signing autographs at the airport. I mean, I guess I didn't follow Jordan Woods much before, but I'm just I saying, didn't. did that happen before this no, whole not. scandal blew I up? I promise you it did not. I, I mean, not. every time she was in a magazine, it was Kylie Jenner's best friend, yeah. Jordan Woods. Like no one was asking for Jordan's autograph without Kylie. Mm -hmm. And now she kind of has everyone in this moment. I think if she publicly kind of makes up, she, I really do believe she's gonna lose a lot of fans. We yeah. have a lot of Jordan stands who watch. Yeah. You guys let us know. Tell us in the comments if y'all be I'm upset actually, if they made up. I'm curious, and I know you're upset when we don't support Jordan, <laughs> so I know you're gonna have some thoughts about it. We support everybody, we just tell exactly, it like it is. Exactly, exactly. Okay, next, let's talk about Ariana Grande, because oh, she God. has some stuff going on. Mm. She tweeted and then deleted this pretty kind of problematic, sad tweet about mm. going on tour. Um, she wrote, making it is healing, performing it is like reliving it all over again, and it is hell. Mm. Now, initially, I was upset when Ariana decided to drop Thank You Next because I personally felt that as a human, she needed more time to sort of like heal, right. refresh, etc. However, after Coachella, mm -hmm. seeing her boohoo and you know twirl around the stage, I want to say that everyone heals in their own way. Yes. And if making music and clipping on that ponytail and twirling and swirling across that stage is helping her heal, I 100% support it. But when I hear this, I'm like, is performing actually helping you heal? Because mm. if it's hell, that kind of worries me. I mean, we know she's had her fair share of difficulties. We mm -hmm. had Mac Miller passing, we have of Manchester. Course. We have even, I think the relationship with Pete ending Pete. is pretty a big deal. That BDE. Yeah, and then remember, <laughs> <laughs> of course you remember that. <laughs> uh, and then last week, remember she posted those brain scans showing that, you know, she has PTSD and now mm -hmm. this tweet. So does she need to take a break or does she need to keep on the career high? I well, don't know. Well now, Ariana, you don't sign these contracts. Yeah. You're on tour now. I know, now I feel like it's kind of too late. You gotta, you can't, good night and go right but now. But Justin Bieber, he canceled his purpose tour because but of But also look reasons. at how we look at Justin Bieber now. That's true. I and would he, never want to look at Ariana that way. And he has not come back Musically, at Musically. least, since that happened. I mean, we had the whole thing with Lil Dicky today. Of course, and it was very beautiful. It was very cool. Come on, Babylon. All of our stars were in it, <laughs> but it's just not, he, it, you're it, right, he hasn't recovered. Exactly. He has not recovered. I also want to get your thoughts. The internet kind of tried to start trouble, of some course. drama with Ariana and mm -hmm. Beyonce. We have Ari Cella this year, Baychella last year. Mm -hmm. So we talked about how Ariana made $8 million from Coachella. Yeah. Well then with, I think, Beyonce releasing Homecoming and the live album, it kind of brought up again how much she made and everyone was saying, well, Beyonce only made $4 million and Ari's making eight. That's horrible. She's making twice as much as Beyonce. It was like a big thing between fandoms. Okay. But what actually is the case, The Blast reported, it's $4 million per weekend. Okay. And Beyonce and Ari have the exact same contract. They both made $8 million. And actually, Beyonce stands to make more because now she has this documentary. Exactly, she got she has the, the album live out. album. Um, so why do you think fans like jump on these little things and then turn it into this big deal? I feel like you are a fan. I'm expert. a stan, girl. I'm yes. gonna say this. 
Look at me stands, fellow stands. Look into the eyes. Beehive, Arianators. If it's not your money, don't care. <laughs> it's not your money. Beyonce got her millions. Ariana could buy a ponytail every day for the rest of her life. If it's not coming out of your pocket, you might want to zip it on up and just enjoy the music and the performances. Thank you. And if Ari really does buy a ponytail, you guys know I'm not going to be happy because I hate a clip-on ponytail. I would love to be in a closet full of Ariana's ponytails. I would play with them, clip them on, twirl around. <laughs> yes. And I would sit there judging you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, let us know what you think about everything we talked about this Friday. What was your reaction to everything that went down at Courtney's birthday? Should she give Eunice another go? And are Jordan and Kylie going to make up now that Jordy admitted she will oh. always love her? Oh, that was beautiful. A little vocal moment. I loved it. And finally, <laughs> what does Ariana need to do? Does she need to take a break or keep going? You guys, mm. let it out down below. Make sure to click that subscribe button and the bell so you can always be on time for the tea. Come on. And we'll see you guys here next time on Holly Scoops Daily Rewind. Bye, Bye guys. guys.